Hey guys, it's Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different video and I'm doing another faux plan with me video and this one's going to be in the so much crafting inserts. I'm going to have information below on a giveaway that I'm doing with Danielle from so much craft. She has them for not only this size planner which would be the A5 size so similar to the Erin Condren life planner just a little bit um, not as wide. She also has them for not these exact inserts but there are different inserts for the personal and then also the little mini size as well so you can find all that information on her Etsy shop which I will link down below. Also just want to mention that this hand is a little darker. My fake tanning didn't go as planned. So what I want to show you guys today is her inserts that are kind of similar to the Erin Condren setup and will fit all of my stickers which are which is really awesome. So the whole point of doing these videos and uh, doing videos that are planners that I don't particularly use but I think are awesome and I would use if I wasn't dedicated to the Erin Condren Life Planner. I do these videos so that you guys can have a little bit of an example of something else that you can use whether it's because you prefer something that's a little bit more open and customizable or you prefer something that's of a different price point. So that's why I have showed you also not only the Erin Condren Vertical but the Erin Condren Horizontal. I do have planner videos in the past using the Plum Paper Planner and I thought that this one would be a great addition to that as well. Not only because it is a little bit more affordable but I honestly like it for some pretty awesome reasons which I will get into as we start planning. So this one I pr have in particular inside of a black leather Kiki K which I love Kiki K but also you can use a Filofax or anything else that is a ring binder of sorts. So I'm just going to pull these out like I do in any of my ring binder style plan with me's and the first thing that I'm going to do is washi tape. I changed my mind a little bit as to where I was going to go with this. I wasn't going to use any stickers besides my own just because this is a mock plan with me. But I'm just going to ask Whitney, hey Whitney, Vintage Gypsy Road, can you send me some more of these? Because I really want to do a watermelon theme real quick on here. Um, I have these Crest Press ones, which I have a lot of. And these are little like washi borders. And I'm going to use these down here on the bottom. I think they're super duper cute. Another thing that you could do is you could washi the edge like I did in my old Erin Condren Kiki K. But honestly, with the amount of color that I'm going to have going on, I'm just going to washi the bottoms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cover up the bottoms. I'm kind of like indecisive as far as if I want to put them like this or if I want to do it like this. If I want to do it even like that. I guess we'll do it this way because that's the way that it's meant to go. So I'm just taking the two smaller ones because those ones are going to fit perfectly. It, you can also use these if you want to just take this and cut it off right here. Then you have a whole other extra strip that you can use to washi a box. So I'm just going to throw this down on here. And like I said, I'm going to go for a watermelon theme. I wasn't going to even do a theme. I was just going to show you guys how I would plan with one of my monthly kits, which I am going to be using my May monthly kit. I might as well use one of my favorite ones. So again, those were from Crest Press. I think it adds a really cute little touch to it. There's going to be a lot more white space than I'm used to in this planner, but I'm totes okay with it. So I decided on the bottom I'm going to do my meal plan. I have, this is what the regular meal plan stickers looks like. Obviously, there's going to be some that are missing on this sheet just because I used them already, but I have them in multicolor, and I'm just going to use colors I think would really match this spread. I do have two left over in the May colors, which is the kit I'm going to be using, but I figured I could totally do this this way and kind of save some time and some stickers. So I'm just going to put these in here in no particular order. Another thing about these inserts is uh, Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday are on top of each other. That's just something to keep in mind. Though most uh, planners, Friday and Saturday are a little bit smaller anyways. So now we have all of my meal plans on the bottom. I think that looks super duper cute. I'm really excited about that. Another thing that I'm going to do is put my custom headers on. I do have some left over, which I am thankful that I have a few left over but I don't have enough of my little things ones left over so I'm just going to use these ones which are totally fine the ones on top will say to do so I'm just going to go ahead and put all of my to do ones in I decided for the weekend that instead of putting in today and to do banners I'm just going to throw in these little to do checklists you can get these in multicolor at the shop so I think that this is a great way to kind of condense a little bit just because there isn't as much space in Saturday or Sunday, but that is not a problem at all when it comes to just adding those in there. So we have those in. Again, these headers aren't perfect. I just want to make, make that kind of clear. These ones are the ones from my shop currently. These are from March, so we've changed things the way that they're formatted. And these, again, were a misprint. So those are the more perfect ones. I'm very kind of OCD about it. 
So I went ahead and gathered all of my little sheets with my ombre boxes and I'm going to go ahead and put those in here. I'm going to show you how I do one and then I'll speed through the rest of them. I have one, two, three, four. I have, I have three sheets but I have that many so I'm going to go and do like kind of like a little pattern here. But I'm just going to throw these under the to-do so that I can write my to-do list for the day in there. Okay, get those stickers lined up. So I'm just going to go in and put the rest of my checklist in. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my little things. I don't have a little things header that I want to use, but it doesn't mean that I still can't put them in. I went ahead and actually took these in the shop and actually renamed them as little things for whenever we reopen. So I'm just going to put them on in the bottom. I'm just like I'm said, I'm just faux planning off of my last week's spread just so that I have the information and I don't have to make it up. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in all of my little things. So I already have my meal plan down on the bottom. Now another one that I use is the asterisks. This is just the way that it used to be set up. Um, and then we reformatted them and lowered them a dollar. So I'm just going to put these in here. I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to use whatever color. Because I think that this one's going to be a very colorful spread. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in all of my little things for the rest of the week. So I went in and added in all of my little thing stickers. I think it looks super cute with the different colors that go along with this month's theme. Now I'm going to go in with Whitney's kit. She has a bunch of different um, watermelon themed items. And I'm going to use some of these ones that aren't don't have the white in them. And then I'm going to come back to those ones then. I'm going to be using the all the watermelon ones. I'm going to save the scale ones. Some of the scale ones also have watermelon on them. But I'm just going to use these ones for now. So I'm actually, what I'm doing is just going to be covering up the middle. So I am making some sections and I'm going to be zooming you guys in at the end so you guys can see it a little bit better. But I'm just going to be doing um, this to kind of break everything up but still kind of combine it together. These stickers feel really nice. So I'm just going in and adding these stickers, kind of just, you know, mixing it up, adding them in different spots just to kind of give that extra watermelon feel. And then on these smaller days that I don't have as much room, I'm just gonna go in with the washi stickers and put those in just for decoration. And then you guys know that I kind of build off of these then. So I'm just gonna add these in here as kind of a little starting point to kind of give myself a little bit of inspiration as to where to start with my watermelon theme. I also do have these stickers, which I don't think I'm actually going to use any of. I might use these ones on the bottom here, but we'll see how it goes. Um, really quickly before I forget, these Caress Press ones have these adorable little watermelon pieces, which I think I'm going to put up in the corners just to kind of give it a little bit even more of a watermelon feel. Okay, so I added my watermelons to the top, and now it's to go in and plan, which you guys know that this is a little bit of a process for me. So I'm just going to start bringing stuff in. I am going to bring in some of my May kit stuff because I think it's super cute and it was one of my favorite kits. So I'm just going to bring some of this stuff in just to help me decorate a little bit. Okay, so I have some of my other sheets from that kit and I'm going to just kind of start decorating. I did uh, have that I'm going to see the Minions on Saturday. I'm going to reposition myself. I hope you guys can't see me. So I'm just going to pick the one that I think matches the best, which is this really pretty pink one. And I'm going to put this in here. You guys know I'm all about my layering. So I'm just going to take a washi sticker for the bottom and just layer this. Also on Saturday, I am going to put an Etsy sticker because there are a bunch of Etsy tasks that I need to do on Saturday. So I'm just going to plop this in here. And then I'm going to grab one of these decorative stickers here. I think that this month went really great with the theme of like watermelon. So I'm just going to throw this little chevron piece in here just to give it a little extra oomph and cover up that white space. So I think that that looks super cute for Saturday. Now I'm going to move on to Sunday. I know I'm doing this kind of backwards. So Sunday is pretty much just also another Etsy day. So I'm going to put this in here. And then I'm also having a live stream, so I want to make sure that I properly annotate that on here. So I'm going to put I'm going to put both of these washi stickers in here. Well, this one. Actually, let's lift that one up cuz I don't like that one there. That's a sticker. Very easy to lift up all these stickers. Instead, I'm actually going to put down these stickers. These washi ones. 
just to give a decorative background. So on top of this sticker here, I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to take the green one just to give a little bit of contrast. These are my dotted half boxes and put this in the center here. And then I do have a free printable on my Facebook group of all kinds of different Scribble Prints Co type stickers. And I also do have the silhouette file on there. So I am doing a YouTube live stream on Saturday in my faux planning. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. And then I can mark the time and everything down in this box. I think it looks really super duper cute. Now we're going to move on to Friday because we are just going backwards. And Friday I did have down that we were having our couch delivered. Also that I wanted to film and that it was going to be a pool day. It didn't end up being a pool day so I'm not going to put that in there. But we did have our couch delivered on that day. So I'm going to take another one of these stickers. I really, or actually let's take one of these ones because I actually really like these. And I'm going to take this watermelon one and put this in here. I really like these ones I've been to Gypsy Row because she has it that you don't even have to add a sticker on top. You have your decoration and then you can write in the middle. And I'm just going to go ahead and write that I have a couch delivery in there, but I'm going to take one of my little icon boxes. I'm going to take the house one because it is home related and just stick it up in the corner so then I could write down my information on there. Also that day I wanted to remember to film and edit, so I'm just going to take one of these stickers. I'm going to take this like coral colored one and stick this right in the center here. And this was that I wanted to remember to film and edit my haul video. So I'm just going to take this really cute little shipping box and put that there so that I can write down that I'm supposed to edit and film a haul. Then we're moving on to Thursday because, like I said, we are going backwards. And that day there really wasn't a lot going on. It was a lot of cleaning. So I am going to take one of my to clean stickers for my monthly kit and just pop that in there in the middle just to kind of fill up the middle area and then I am going to put in one of these cute washi stickers from Vintage Gypsy Road, one of the watermelon ones. I like these ones because again they have the little white space so you can write whatever you want on there but I can also take an icon in from in here and that day is a cleaning day so what can I use to signify that? I can use the trash because there's a lot of trash when we clean. And I can stick that right there and then I can write to clean. And then underneath I'm going to put in a Bill Deuce bill do sticker because I put these in on every spread just so I remember to to um pay any bills that might be due. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Stick this slightly underneath. You know me, I'm all about my layering. So I have that down in there. Then on top I have a little bit of extra room. So I'm just going to put in this sticker because I love it. It's not really has anything to do with this week. But it says I survived the scribble scribble I survived I survived the stick stickopolis. Stickalopolis. If you guys are in my Facebook group, you guys will get that. Also, I just really like these stickers, so I kinda wanna use them. So I'm gonna do scroll prints new releases on that day. I'm sad because I can't really use those stickers, because I mean I mean I can use new releases, but I can't use like order shift or anything. So I'm gonna use them in my faux planning. So that, that, actually, that side of the week looks super duper cute in my opinion. And now we're moving on to this side of the week. I really like this one because there's a lot of space under here. So I could definitely utilize that. On that day, it was Shosh's four months. But I don't want to use one of my Shosh stickers because I love them so much. So I'm actually going to pull one of these stickers from the Planner Junkie. And it's her little pet icon set. So that I can uh, note that it was her four month of life anniversary and I'm just gonna put a little sticker on top as my background I'm gonna put in one of these so I'm gonna grab the green one because I want it to really stand out whoa that washi is on crooked I'm gonna put a washi on the bottom area stick that on there and then I'm just gonna put in one of these stickers these pet stickers I'll just do a pink one so there's a contrast do the bone and then I can write in that Shosh is four months. And then also in that day, I did have another box, but I just wrote that I was sick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take another washi sticker and fill up that space in between. It was a lot of being sick this week. I'm still a little sick. I don't know if you could tell in my voice. And then down in here was that I was still sick. So I'm going to take a sticker. Kind of looks like a person with like a mask on. And I can write that I was still sick in there. But I kind of want to like have something kind of to oomph it up. So let's take a, a plan sticker in there. And again, this is just a faux plan with me. I'm just kind of seeing how this would look and kind of show you guys that this would be another option for you as well if you want to try something new. 
Um, so I have that all in there. On Tuesday, I had that I needed to meal plan. We went to Sam's Club and I had an Etsy sticker. That's another thing that I could have probably put in some of these days. So I'm going to throw one of these in here on Monday. And then I'm also going to throw one of these in here on Tuesday. And then I'm going to add in, do I have a pink in here? Yes. Let's add this hot pink one in here. I'm just going to add a washi sticker as my background so I don't have any white space. Sorry if this has been kind of crooked, but I'm doing this on the floor. Throw this on top. In here I'm going to write, you know, we had to go to Whole Foods and Macy's. And then I'm also going to put, I have a little shopping bag sticker on here. So put this in there. And then I also want to note that we got our bed that day. So I'm just going to take one of these stickers from Vintage Gypsy Road, throw it in here. This looks really cute layering those two on top. And I'm going to put in a little car as a little delivery car. So I write that down in there. And also I have um, Sam's Club written down on Tuesday. So I'm just going to throw that in there. This is going to be a real alarm playing with me. Hope you guys are okay with it. And then add in the little shopping cart down here. And then just to fill up that little white space right there, I'm just going to put in a little pink sticker. Then just because I want to use these because I think they're so super cute, I'm just going to throw these in here. Because I really like them and I'm really sad that, that I really have no use for them myself. And again, these are available on my Facebook group, which I will link down below. And then I'm just going to take one of these little thing stickers, the green one, to mark a payday, which would be on Tuesday. So I just added in some random stickers just to kind of fill up some space just so I could show you guys how it would look as a full week. I really, really like it. Now what I'm going to do for you guys, because it usually is requested, is I'm going to go ahead and fill it all out with my pen, plop it back in the planner so you guys can see the finished product. And like I said, there is going to be a giveaway link to this, and I will put all of the information down below that you will need to know and it's gonna be a good one so definitely check that out and stay tuned to see what this looks like so there you have it that is everything all filled out i think it looks super duper cute for the watermelon theme and the so much crafting inserts like i said there will be information on the giveaway listed down below so if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to answer them otherwise i will talk to you guys in my next video bye